Hello everyone, welcome to part 3 of the Python Basics tutorial series. Today we're going to be going over the if statement. So what the if statement does is it checks if something's true. If it is true, it'll execute the code down below. So if this statement here was true, it would execute the code down below. If it's not true, it's not going to execute it. Basically, it wouldn't print this number. So I'll show you what I mean. So if I sign for to the variable num, and if 4 is greater than 2, which it is, it's going to be true. In the same way, um, let me write a little code down below for you. Um, if I want to replicate this code, for example, if I just flat out had a true statement here, um, it would print out the number 3, or the variable num, if the statement was true. And since I flat out put a true in here, it printed out num. So similarly, um, since 3 is equivalent to 3, if I assign 3 to num and set it equal to 3, it'll print out num. Great. So notice with every if statement, and this applies also for the elif and the else statement, you have to indent, okay? It's a Python specific thing. However, if we have a statement that's false, nothing will be executed. So if I assign three to num, and I say if three is greater than 10, well, that's obviously false and nothing will be outputted. Okay. Um, and one thing I'm going to go over again, in part two I went over modulo, um, which basically just finds a remainder. And if you're curious what modulo does, if I had four modulo three, um, the remainder of that would be one. And it, also if I had three modulo three, the remainder would be zero. And you can play with um, modulo if you're not certain what it does. So the reason why I'm going over this is in a couple of um, parts later in this tutorial series when we're going over FizzBuzz, which is a very common interview question, which requires modulo. And modulo is used for determining if a number is divisible um, by another number. Like uh, 15 divided by 3 is 5, remainder 0. Okay, and modulo just gives you the remainder, basically. So if I assign 3 to num, and then 3 modulo uh, 3 is equal to 0, which it is, it'll print fizz. Um, and I have another example below where I assign 10 to the, the variable num, and then if num uh, modulo 5 is equal to 0, which it is, it prints buzz. So, a quick review is if something's true, it'll print the statement or it'll execute the code down below. If it's not, it won't output anything or it won't execute the code down below. Um, commonly used with the if statement in Python are the logical operators and, or, or not. And this is used to combine um, multiple conditions. What I mean by that is if I assign num um, to 4, or if I assign 4 to num, um, 4 is greater than 0, so that'd be true, and um, 4 is less than 15, which would be true, um, it's going to be true. And the way and works is if both the operands are true, or if both the expressions are true, so this would be true, and this would be true, then it'll give you overall a true. However, if I had something like uh, true and false, this would give me false because both of them, both my expressions, or both uh, parts of this and statement, um, aren't true, it'll be false. Okay? Okay. So, as we discovered earlier, we set num equal to 4. Um, so 4 is greater than 0, so that's true, and 4 is less than 15, so that's true, so we're going to print num. However, um, 
and is not always enough. Um, sometimes for some sort of logic in your program, you want to see something called an or. Is if one of your conditions is true, execute some code down below. And for that, we have the or operator. So if I assign num uh, 4 to num again, um, if 4 is greater than 0, which it is, that's true, um, you don't even have to execute the rest of this code to know um, you'll print num. Okay? And the only way um, an or will evaluate to false is if both are false. So false or false means nothing will be executed in the if statement down below. Okay? Um, the last thing I want to go over is the not operator. Not basically just reverses the logic. So not true is false, and then uh, not false is true. Okay? So if I assign 10 to num, um, 10 is less than 20, so that would normally be true. But since I have the not, it reverses the true to a false. So that's it for part three of the Python Basics tutorial series. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll gladly help you. Uh, in the next part of the tutorial series, we're going to be going over the uh, else statement. I should also mention I have a blog that I'll post uh, in a little bit going over part three, which is what we just did. And I also have a link to the GitHub where it'll have the code so you can um, look at it. You can also see what the different operators mean. Um, and you can check to make sure you know what and, or, and not mean. Thanks.